Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Wingens and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to break down how to create this really cool lens flare effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see right here, there is the effect. It's kind of just a cool way to transition in between two um, different clips. So as you can see right here, here is DeAndre Hopkins clip 1 and then DeAndre Hopkins clip 2. You're obviously going to want two different clips because while this is an effect, it's also a type of transition so i gotta just break down how to create this effect it's not super difficult but it'll take a little bit of time until you get it kind of correctly now a couple things i want to go over first is that this track um, is from epidemic sound just in case um, you were wondering so here's the effect right here here is the actual lens flare effect then you may be asking yourself okay well where do you get this video how do you get this effect is it a plugin um no it's actually not a plugin it's actually just a screen recording um from another video that i'll go ahead and put down in the description below so it's just a screen recording don't worry you don't have to download a plugin or anything like that i'll go ahead and put the video down in the description below and you can go ahead and just screen record it so as you can see right here here is the actual video here is the video that i screen recorded and i think it gives you like four or five or six different lens flare effects and you can go over and figure out which ones you um, like the most and here is the full video um right up here so just go ahead and screen record it the link is in the description below so like i said before there's a whole bunch of different varieties of this effect and you can go through and pick the one that you think looks good but i'm going to go ahead and just pick this one right here so basically if you're starting from the beginning and then go into the effect that i used i waited for 21 or 27 uh, seconds so the 27 second mark i made a cut and then at the 28 second mark, I also made a cut. So this is the cut that I'm going to be using right here. And here it is right over here. So let's go ahead, start right here. I'll disable this clip. So as you can see right here, here's where it starts. And then here's where it starts. So it's the exact same clip. So what you want to do to create this effect is you want to just put the effect in between um, the two separate clips. And then what you're going to do is you want to head over here to the inspector window right here. And you want to change the blend mode to screen. So if I turned it to normal um, and I went back here, it, would, it wouldn't look, it, nothing changes at all. You need to have the blending mode um, switched back to a screen. So there we go, That's that. so you can create the effect right here. As you can see right here, you need to create a screen effect so you can actually see the video below it um, or else the effect isn't going to work. Now, one tip that I used um, when it came to creating this effect is what I tried to do was I put, like I found the middle right here, so this is the part right in between both clips, and I found the part where, it, so let's just start right here, and let's just go over here. I found the part where you could literally only see white. So let's go right here. And as you can see right here, here is white. And then all of a sudden it'll start fading back in. So the only reason I switched it to white is it just helped make the video um, transition a lot better. You can kind of create your own method for how you want to do this. But I just started here and then I just kind of, it's just starting to fade to white. Now that's where I want to transition the clip into the that's where I want to transition into the next clip so you can see right here and there we go so we can go ahead and play it right here white basically has it turns out the screen turns to white and that way you can easily transition into the next clip that's just the me method that I went for you don't have to um, use this part you have a whole bunch of different um, varieties of this lens flare that's the one that I went for so remember we want to screen record the video the most important thing is you want the blending mode to screen or else this effect is not going to work place it in between the clips I used a white to transition in between the two clips find a place where it's easy to transition into the next clip like I said before the screen will be all white that will be very easy to transition into the next clip anyways hopefully you enjoy this video 
Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every single day. So if those are the type of videos you enjoy watching, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 100 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So definitely go ahead and check all those tutorials out or check that playlist out if you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.